Hello and welcome back to Let's Play to the Moon. Let's start off. Let's start. Okay. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Hmm... Ah, Memento. So this is the day she started it, huh? Many long strands of orange hair. New boxes of plain paper. Uh oh. I think I know where this is going. An old grand uh, an old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the tortoise. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Mmm, true. Well that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'll probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic.
This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? It's not that bad. I mean, this environment looks pretty awesome to live on. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm? Is that why you pushed me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too well of it now, but easy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have taken our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you draw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? Wow. River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Hmm. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Hmm. Okay. Wait, did I did I locate the memento? I think that's the memento. Huh. I'm not sure where to go now. Look for the memento then. Hmm. Hmm. 
in the world? I didn't realize Okay. Where's the memento? It should be around... Where? But where? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> I'm going the wrong way. And now I, now I can't move at all. Um, hold on. Sorry about that, the game has glitched out, so... I just had to restart the game. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate is a... It is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? 
I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River? She never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh? I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Hmm. be a lot more beautiful if people just remember faces more. Hmm. Hmm? Anything new today? No. Were you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. I know, your mother gave you a book from its as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Hmm. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh! Do you know what animal is Davis May Morph? Um. Um. Uh. Um. Uh, wait. What's what's the animal's name again? I'm pretty 
pretty sure I've read it somewhere. I just got to remember. That's it? That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Mm, um, duck? Uh, no. No. Let's try again. No. <sighs> oh, okay. How could I forget? Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Okay, no, no, I got the answer now. Oh yeah, a cobra! <sighs> I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. I forget. Oh yeah. I forget. Where is where is the memento again? <sighs> I should have thought about that. <sighs> oh. 
I do have a tendency of getting lost during my gameplay. I think this is a bit difficult for me. Never mind. Everyone's leaving already? But I just got here! Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, so gave your childish jazz for the insecure. I guess I had to do a little bit of exploring. Do you feel any different? Not that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me.
This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> well, that happened. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing, standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Hmm. Ah, the wedding. Uh, yeah. What you? What did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I see my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened, just take it moment by moment? Hmm. That was a beautiful wedding. Hmm? Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. I'm so proud of Joey. It can't be helped, Wither. I'm sure it didn't mean to. 
Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some rope kill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do our cordless bungee jump. Hmm. Poor rabbit. I guess I guess River loves bunnies, rabbits. <sighs> rabbits are cute. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mem when the mementos will kill. Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how wanton it was, or you know something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. thing. What's with all the roll kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And roll kill. Deactivate the sense simulator or get away from here already. Okay, time to save. <laughs> 